Hi there and welcome to Temp Studios. This is Becky, a technical account manager based out of Sydney, Australia. The feature I'm reviewing in this video is a massive advancement towards true agentic AI and is tied in with the launch of the Genesis AI Studio interface. Now my colleague Guru is reviewing customizable summaries, which is also a feature released at the same time. So make sure you look out for it. However, if you are interested in knowing more on AI Studio's guides, then keep watching. Genesis Cloud introduces guides for virtual agents in AI Studio, which is the new central hub in Genesis Cloud for building AI experiences. These guides enable business teams to create intelligent and adaptable virtual agents using natural language and the power of AI. Organizations can deploy their guides within virtual agent enabled flows in Architect, blending structured logic and agentic AI in a safe and scalable way. Guides are completely text-based flows that have a far more human-like interaction than your traditional structured bot flow and can be generated and adapted quickly without the need to build complex logics within Architect. You can also reference more than one in a virtual agent flow and guides can be leveraged in both voice and digital interactions. There is quite a bit to cover, so let's get stuck into a demo. I'm in the admin portal of a sandbox environment, and if you have the right permissions, what you'll see now is the AI Studio sections within this portal. I'm gonna select the guides, and we're gonna go ahead and create a new one. Now you're going to have to name your AI guide. Obviously it must be unique. And now you have, at present, three different options you can use to get started. You can use an AI prompt, which is what I'm about to show you. If you have a document of a process you already use that you would like to turn into a guide, you can upload that and it will translate into a flow. Or if you're feeling rather savvy and you're good at text-based guides, then you can start from scratch and build your own. So using the AI prompt, I'm going to throw in a sentence that will build out the flow says, create a flow that checks the status of a credit card application using a customer account number as the identifier. And the status of the application could be either approved, in progress or denied. And then add the ability to escalate to an agent if needed. As you can see, that single prompt has built out a guided flow, all in the text base. So there's four sections that it's built in here and these are all editable. A few things to call out is, so we've started with the verify customer identity, but here you can see we're calling a data action that doesn't exist yet. So what you need to do is either update this, creating a data action that's called verify customer account, or if you've already pre-created one, you can do a forward slash and create that or grab that data action from here or an existing one. And then, as you can see, as we go through different stages of it, if you say get to the point where if the customer account is valid, as we've cross-checked against this data action and it's verified, it will say something along the lines of, thank you, your account has been verified. And then it will move to this next section called check application status, which is identified here. You can see those scattered throughout the flow. So provide application status is the next section, which we'll jump to here. Or if at any time they want to escalate to an agent, it could hit the transfer to agent part down the bottom. Now, from here, you can obviously save and publish. At present, you can't preview the experience, but you will be in the future. And you can also, if you've noticed this second tab here, add your variables that you'll be calling throughout the guided flow. So now I'm gonna jump over to one that I've already created because I've already pre-added the variables in there and the custom action that we're going to be using. It's along the same lines as the flow that I just created. So we're creating a check credit card application status. It starts with the greeting, we collect their number, we're gonna retrieve the status using a custom action we've already created that basically uses a data table, which I'll showcase here. We've only put three entries into it. This is the identifier and these are the statuses that we've pre-built in there. Ideally, this would actually be a data action that queries your CRM, your database. So this will return based on the CAS number that's added either an approved, in progress or denied status. If it doesn't have anything, it will say, I'm sorry, and we'll go back to the Greek customer. So it'll loop back to the beginning. We also have the uh, agent escalation status and the offer for further assistance. Now the beauty is right now we can't test it in here, but you can go straight to architect from this link 
So these guides have to be leveraged or called upon through Architect Seal, through an, a virtual agent bot. And in here, it's going to launch your dependency search based on a guide and the associated guide's name. If it was called in more than one guide, we would be able to jump straight to them from here. So I'm going to go over to the guide, which I've already opened. And what we're going to do is I'll walk you quickly through what we can use. So if we're going to start with the digital menu, which has a quick reply option to just use credit cards. This is how you can use flows in Architect to still guide the customer through the tasks that you want them to. And then once they've selected an option, one could be credit card, another could be directing you to another guided flow. We're going to call a task which basically calls a guided flow. So this is a canned tool that's in Architect now in your bot flows. And then you can reference the guide that you have here. Once you get out of the guide, so one of the outputs is speaking to an agent, which is another reusable task that we've created here, which will transfer us to flow. So once this is all created and you want to test it, you can test within here. So you can create your start chat test within Architect itself, and it will call the guided flow that you've created, but it won't have the ability to escalate to agent in the simulation. So what I'm going to do is use the developer forum and our web messaging tools, select the deployment. So I've created a deployment that calls this bot, and then I'm going to start the chat so you can see what it looks like. Let's start a message conversation. Now this is in Architect, the quick replies. I'm gonna select credit card for this example. And now we'll be entering the guided flow. As you can see, welcome to our credit card application status check. I'm here to help you. Please enter your customer number to get started. So I'm gonna be sassy and I'm gonna add actually two of them and see how it performs. Can I get the status of both of these, which are in there? This time it's told me, I'm sorry, but I can only check the status of one application at a time. So let's try with just the one. Now, obviously you didn't see this in the flow, but it's been able to course correct itself when I put in an entry that it can't handle. Excellent, my credit card application is currently in the in progress review stage and my application date is this which does cross reference to the first one I've entered in the data table, which is fantastic. We'll go back here. Can I check the status of CAS? And I'm gonna make up a number here and see how it handles it. I haven't tested this before, so we can see that it hasn't worked and it's handled it without having to build this exact response in a flow. I'd like to talk to an agent. Let's see if it will escalate for us. Long queue. And so I'm going to answer it. And just like a real agent transferring a digital interaction through, I have the full history here. And if I go into our Copilot section, we should get um, some details or assistance here for Copilot. And that concludes this review. Thank you for staying tuned. If you have any questions, please post them in the community thread or email us at tamstudios at genesis.com.